Hi, welcome to the Linux tutorial. In this tutorial, we will explore the root of Linux. So, what does Linux is a Linux based operating system is consist of? So now we will just go to the root folder, which is uh, just open the terminal, type cd space slash, and it will take us to the root. And these folders are inside the root. So let's just check if we are really inside root. So just type pwd and it shows slash which represents root. So it has got not, uh, nothing beneath it. Uh, it is the root. It is the ground surface. And everything is located over that root. So now we will just type ls space hyphen al and it will show us all the files and folders available or located on the root. Now, to start with, we will uh, go inside bin folder, which contains all the binaries uh, which are located, important binaries, inside the operating system. So just uh, cd into it. Just type cd space bin folder. And yes, it shows us all the files, all the binary files, which are located inside this operating system. So just to see details of them, just type ls space al so it shows us file permissions and everything so now to start with we can start bash uh, so what we'll do is we will just try to understand uh, the most frequently used binaries or commands in Linux uh, in the first phase and in second phase we will just try to uh, go deeper into more complicated commands or bit unusual commands. So let's start with uh, so bash is kind of frequently used then we have cat which is uh, for making very simple document uh, a text file rather then we have change group which is uh, used for changing the group uh, of any file or folder we have ch mode which is for ch which is for changing the file permissions so in case you want to change the permission of execution, read, write, then you can use that. If you want to change the owner of any file or folder, then you will use chon or own. CP is for co copying some kind, some data in some location or changing the name of it or creating duplicate files out of it. Then we have date, which is which displays the current date. We have dd we have df dir is for listing uh, files and folders located within the f within this operating system or current folder which we are currently in and then we have echo which is for printing some da some data on screen then we have grep which is used for finding some kind of word or expression within any file so in case we are looking for some complex data string uh, and the file is quite large let's say it has got thousands of lines then we can use grab to find that expression within that file we have host name to know the name of the host of the particular machine uh, to identify it easily on the network then we have less for knowing the contents of the file. Allen is for creating link of a file. So in case you want to create a, some kind of shortcut, then you will create a link. So presumably this represents a link. It has got L at the start. D represents the directory. Then we have uh, ls, which again works like dr. It list basically lists down all the files and folders located within that folder, which you are in which you are currently in. Then we have mkdir, which is for creating any directory. Then we have mount. It is basically used for mounting any file system on any mount point. Then we have nano which is very simple text editor used for creating some some text document uh, in minutes 
uh, very easy to use mv is for moving one file into some another location and if you really want to rename any file then you will use mv so just type mv space original file name space uh, the new file name and it will happen then we have netstat which is used for uh, used as a network utility so basically it shows you all the machines which uh, which are currently uh, connected then we have then we have which which shows uh, the location of any command so let's say we are typing which space you name uh, so it basically shows us what is the location of that particular command because every command is a file and every file is must be located somewhere so it shows us the location so predominantly every every uh, binary or every command is located either inside bin folder or as bin as a secure bin and then we have tar which is very frequently used archive archiving utility so it works just as rar or zip it basically zips down or compresses um, lots of content into single archive and it's fairly easy to use then we have Touch, which is again used for creating a very simple text document then we have RM which is used for removing any file or folder so in case you are trying to remove any folder you have to press hyphen R uh, so if you are if you really want to delete any file just use RMDIR which is specifically for deleting any directory PWD is used for knowing the current path inside the terminal so in case you have lost your way and you really want to know where you are um, currently in so in which directory you are currently in so in that case you will be using pwt so it will show us the current location here we have uh, su uh, what it does is it it basically helps you in logging into any uh, root account so let's say you have logged in using some default user in Linux uh, or rather Debian based Linux, Linux operating system now to get into root you just type su and then press enter and it will just ask for the root password and once you enter it uh, it will take you to the root account so now uh, there is another approach to it which is to use sudo with every command so let's say um, you want to give uh, privilege uh, root privilege to um, to a command let's say wget now if you want to do that just type sudo space the command name and it will ask for the password and once you will answer the password it will the command will run you uh, with root privileges here's one drawback of this approach which is you have to do it repeatedly so let's say you have to use five commands with all with root privileges so then you have to type sudo redundantly for each and every command so this will take a while to do, do that so just to make it default use su and just enter the password log into your root account and um, you will you can do it for a number of commands so that's how we do it when we uh, generally use the root account we are very cautious about its usage you don't remove any file without any due diligence because till yet were mostly uh, most frequently used commands and in the following videos we will be exploring the very uncommon commands like sync tlf and all sorts of commands thank you for watching the video